Hello, Catherine Lovewell here from the Teacher Sanctuary and I'm bringing you um, day nine of Action April. How are you getting on with taking action? I'm very excited um, to be reporting today that I have just returned from my first baby shower. It was lovely. So celebrating uh, my dear friends imminent birth and the imminent arrival of this new bundle of joy that will literally change my friend's life forever. And as I was watching the celebrations and uh, one, of, um, one of Alma's friends had done the most amazing decorations and everything had followed a lovely theme, I was reflecting on just how much love her friend had poured into this rite of passage that she'd created for her. So I'd love us to consider um, what rite of passage um, might you be experiencing this year? So this is a big action April, this is macro thinking today. What rite of passage may you experience this year? Or, or would you like to create for someone that you love. So there's the obvious one, uh, the birth of a new baby, the magnificence, the joy, the innocence, the purity, the, oh, the recognition of hope and beauty in the world, and the, the pure innocence of a new life, and the coming together becoming a family, a huge rite of passage. So it's wonderful now that um, we are celebrating the, this, um, this journey of becoming a mum or a dad, just magical. Now, other obvious ones are big birthdays. So um, we've got a very big 18, all right? So uh, my eldest son will be turning 18 this year. And of course, there will be a big celebration and it's not just about having the party, it's actually about honouring my son, recognising him, um, demonstrating um, that he has become a man and is continuing his journey into manhood. I know traditionally a lot of people wait till the 21st birthday, but this is definitely in the UK a significant birthday. And of course, the big O's, you know, if uh, your friends are celebrating their 40s, their 50s, whatever it is. Again, another easy rite of passage to recognise and acknowledge that this is a big new chapter in someone's life. But of course, thinking back to um, my son, his 18th, we're, we're not just recognising his um, stepping from boy to man, we're recognising who he is. Not um, what he's achieved, though there may be an element of that, but who he is as a human being. So who he bees in the world, how he shows up in the world. And this is the magic of these rites of passage. And all the things, uh, the challenges and the obstacles and the, the stepping stones, he has managed to walk across to become the young man that he is today. So I wonder, what would it be like if you started to um, reflect and create a wonderful rite of passage for yourself or for somebody else? Maybe a reminiscing of the magic that's happened previously. Maybe a real honouring and a celebration um, of someone that you really love or would like to demonstrate your love for. It's a very curious one. There's lots of traditions around the world that have very significant rites of passages for their young people, you know, boys to men, uh, young girls into young women. Um, and some are really quite extreme rites of passages, tests of the uh, manhood and fearlessness and all sorts of things. We don't really have that um, in Western culture. And so I'm a big believer in celebrations and a big believer in uh, honouring and connecting uh, these traditions up in a, in a 21st century Western way. 
So here's your action April for today. Think big. Think how might you like to honour yourself. Perhaps it's um, a big birthday. Perhaps it's I'm changing direction in my life and I'd like to recognise what's gone before and where I'm headed. It may be that you're moving house, moving town, moving country. Um, it may be that you're deciding that um, you're ready for a change in your career. Uh, you may want to uh, have a promotion. You may want to do a completely different job. Um, whatever the rite of passage is, there's progress and change and this honouring of this progress and change. Um, it can be quite a painful process, this journey, but to honour it, acknowledge it, recognise yourself or the person that you're um, honouring, that's magical. It's priceless. And it really does increase our well-being to just press pause and be fully present with this now moment and the direction that perhaps you'd like to take and what's happened to, to get to this point in time. So it's quite a big one today, um, but I, I had to share the magic of um, the baby shower. And of course, it's going to become even more magical when this beautiful bundle of joy is born and she gets to meet the world and the world gets to meet her. So um, your action April for today is quite simply consider what rite of passage would you like to honour? Maybe a closing or an opening of a new chapter. Starting a family is a very big new chapter in your life. Um, and these big decisions, maybe this is the beginning of um, a new journey for you. And it's the life's rich tapestry if we honour each step. Um, that really can expand our awareness, make us feel fantastic inside and especially if we're honouring another person and how rich um, their life has become or maybe how rich our life is because their life is in ours. So that's it from me today, quite a DP today. I hope you found it um, a good one to reflect on, a curious concept to explore for this wonderful Action April. Until next time, remember to take action.